Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success, streaming now on Amazon Music. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my guitar courses, lesson of the month club, coaching, Thursday tips blog, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. This podcast is brought to you in part by Gator. Whether you just need a bag to gig with on the weekends or a frequent flyer needing a flight-friendly TSA series case or a dedicated road warrior bringing your instruments on tour, Gator has a solution for you. World-class guitar and bass players, DJs, and recording professionals know for the stuff you love, Guard it with Gator. Today's tip is how temperature and humidity can affect your guitar. Did you know weather conditions, including temperature and humidity, can affect a guitar? It's true, both subtle changes and extreme conditions can be an unwelcome change for your instrument. In this episode, I'll talk about weather conditions, specifically how those conditions can impact the health of a guitar, as well as the steps you can take to keep your guitar happy. As always, I love to give a shout out to my listeners around the world. So hello and thank you to those of you listening in Tunisia, Fiji, Estonia, Uruguay, and the United States. Let's start out with a baseline. That is the ideal weather conditions for a guitar and then go from there. Now, the ideal scenario for a guitar is 74 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit and 45 to 55% relative humidity. Basically, think about it like this. If you're comfortable, your guitar is probably comfortable. Higher and or lower temperatures affect the wood, the glue, the binding material, and the strings, as does too much or too little humidity. So let's dive deeper into weather conditions as they pertain to the health of a guitar. First, let's talk about temperature. As I mentioned, 74 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. Higher temperatures can dry out the wood, which could result in wood splitting and the glue can become compromised. It also will affect your strings and you may notice they become untuned more easily. The most common problem with hot weather, though, is the wood splitting, and this can be a costly repair. Lower Colder temperatures can cause the wood to contract and the glue and binding to be compromised. It can impair the sound and perhaps compromise the action or setup of a guitar. So keeping your guitar at an even 74 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit is not only important, it's actually imperative, especially if you don't want to spend lots of money on repairs or have to replace your guitar. In just a little bit, I'll share some easy methods to keep your guitar happy. But before I talk about solutions, I want to talk about humidity. Humidity is measured by the moisture content in the air. High humidity means there is a lot of moisture in the air. Low humidity means there's very little moisture in the air. In fact, I witnessed it during a guitar workshop I was teaching in Colorado. When I got to the part about tuning and each student was tuning their own guitar, I had one student ask me for help with a problem he was having. I approached him and could see him holding the bridge of his guitar in his hand. It had completely come off the guitar. It happened when he was tightening one of the strings during tuning. So why did that happen? 
Well, it happened because the humidity levels in Colorado average about 15%, and those dry conditions compromise the glue and cause the bridge to come off. It's safe to say that extreme conditions can have a dramatic effect on a guitar, but even subtle weather changes can be an unwelcome change for your instrument. As I mentioned in the Colorado story, the average humidity level in Colorado is 15%, well below the ideal level of 45 to 55% humidity. That's why the bridge came off. Over time, in these types of conditions and without the appropriate care, it sadly becomes a shining example of what can happen to a guitar when exposed to conditions that are less than ideal. On the opposite end of the spectrum, high humidity, like in a tropical location or areas where the humidity levels rise with hot temperatures, can be just as bad. It can cause your guitar to swell, which of course compromises everything, again resulting in costly repairs or replacement. There is good news, though. As I mentioned, there are some solutions, very easy solutions, available to help you maintain the ideal temperature and humidity environment for your guitar. Hey, do you know someone who would like to play guitar? It's never been easier with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. And... If you or someone you know already plays guitar and wants to learn more, then my unlimited lessons, classes, and courses, and my coaching sessions could be just the right thing. The links are in the show notes on your podcast app, or you can find them on my website, marlenesmusic.com. Number one, use a humidifier in your case or in the room where you store your guitar. This is a super simple and super inexpensive solution, and it will help your guitar tremendously. It keeps your guitar at the ideal conditions for the humidity level. Number two, use a temperature and humidity detection sensor. There are some great ones out there right now. You simply have it in or near your guitar and you can understand what the temperature and humidity levels are in the location of your guitar. That gives you the opportunity to correct and create the perfect temperature and humidity environment for your guitar. Number three, know your location, both where you are and anywhere that you go to. You know, traveling with your guitar is so much fun. So just be aware of what the weather conditions are in the location that you may be going to. Again, having something as simple as a humidifier in your case helps to keep the humidity and temperature even and balanced for your guitar. Basically, it comes down to this. Keep your guitar in the ideal environment and conditions. Use a humidifier so that you and your guitar won't have to sweat it. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.